in again. Okay, so I got to him. Do you reckon his dad could be lying to me? I don't know. Don't they like you? I swear. See, the trouble is, I'm not Indian. There's <laughs> not a lot you can do about that. Yeah, well, how am I going to get to invite him if I can never get in touch with him? My mum says I can't use our phone ever again. Why not? Because I'm going bankrupt, I keep telling her. Let's have a look then. How much was it? One pound fifty, you owe me. That much it was, look. Well, what should you do with it then? So you get one of the little strips. Yeah. Get a little stash and then just pull it off. But it hurt. Well, I don't think so. Do you want me to do it for you? Do you want to make a list of everything you're going to need? Mandy, that's what I need. Chris, nuts, hot dogs and cider. You know she won't let me have any cider. I don't have to tell her. Not even if that cost is in three miles, she'd notice. I think she's got space laser equipment. <laughs> we can make a punch with it. So where else we can get some wine? I don't know anything about wine. Anyway, where am I going to buy wine from? How am I going to get it? Oh, she's going to make problems. I'll get it. I don't know, Sarah. The boys are going to want beer. You're going to have to get some of that as well. Ranjit won't. He doesn't like it. But Ranjit isn't even coming yet, is he? You haven't even invited him. Yeah, well, it's not my fault if I can't get in touch with him. But do you want to come back to my house like we did the list? Right. Oh, won't you mum mind? No. She'll be down in the shop till six anyway. Dad's playing snooker at the club and Jason's making bombs with his little friend. <laughs> So I'll be all on my own if you don't come back. Yeah, all right. You don't have to make a fuss of things, don't you? Because I'm sensitive. I've always been sensitive. Look at it, it's urgent. Well, can you just tell him that I rang then? Yeah, ask him to let me back. It's not too much trouble. Yeah, thanks so much, Mr. Ramphor. Bye. Jeez. What did he say? He said Randy's too busy to come to the phone. You're already telling me call. How oh, should I know? It's not telling her about the party otherwise. Yeah, well, I wasn't meaning to invite him to the party. I was meaning to say that I'm not going out with him anymore. Are you? No. I suppose you don't see him very much anyway. You look him drowned. That's just because he's scared that I'm going to chuck him for good. Yeah. Hey, should we ring now then? Um, James Billington. Shall we? Yeah. Do you fancy him? No. Jim? No. I bet Belinda's got his phone number though, aren't we? Yeah. All right. Well, let's just say we're inviting him to someone else then. Okay. Are we really going to invite those two from the motel? Yeah. I go already if I had to speak to Daniel. Yeah, well, you'll invite Roy, right, and I'll invite Daniel, okay? I go off only just thinking about it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Eat your heart out, James Billington. Hey, but you're not to say to Roy, oh, my friend fancies you, or my friend wants you to come to a party. Okay. All right. What am I going to say then? Oh. See, it is 20 people. Yeah. Well, your friend Natalie could find herself in a lot of trouble. She said, laugh. Hey, what are we in about drink? My mum says I'm only allowed soft drinks and cider. Yuck. Well, we've told everyone to bring something. I expect Roy will anyway. Who's Roy? I invited him. And you still haven't invited Daniel. I don't count telling Roy to ask him. Well, what do you expect me to do? That old bloke was going to chuck us out. It wasn't my fault. Get off them, you! Don't you a bag of Chris, though. Nobody's allowed to touch the food until the party. What are you wearing tonight, Jace? You're bringing your girlfriend. He's not coming. Go on, Bev. Don't make me go to ground. You're too young. You could do the music. We're doing the music. Anyway, we've only got a couple of tapes. Jason, get you can you just get out we're trying to clear the room then tidy your own room or something and i don't want you using my room don't want your horrible friends snogging in of course they won't test i'll watch them it's just too young it's just vile for words hey did you invite ranji no we could try calling him again i saw him down the dome that day did you who with your friend tamar from wheelie castle going out with them? Well, they seem to be on very intimate terms, if you know what I mean. God, how awful. But I'm cow. Flippin' invited her to my party as well. What if she comes? What if they both come? I just hope Roy turns up. That'll show them. 
Here's a couple of packets of how many sausages you can have. Thanks, uh, Auntie Marge. I'll feed them for hours yet. Yeah, well, we've still got to get ourselves ready. This is great. Yeah? I think we need to pass the sell by date. Oh, everything is in this place. Oh, it's all right, love. You can eat it a few days after the date, of course. All right, Trace. Thank you, Mum. Fine, thanks, Mum Carrad. Have you got any coloured light bulbs to cook by her? What do you want coloured light bulbs for? The lighting for the party. Get off the food, Dad. Yeah, so you can't see who you're snogging with, eh? I thought I'd have brought them all off, do I? Oh. Fish cake and chips for you, girls, yeah? Oh, yes, yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Right, there we go. Thank you. Thanks. Um. Mm -hmm. Saveloy. Hi, large chips and saveloy. I saw Jason's mum down the shop. Oh, yeah. I uh, hope you can all manage like this. I don't think we've got any plates left. She should have stopped with them tonight. Uh, fish, uh, no. Pine chips. Is that you, Jason? No. Hang on a minute, will you? Come on, can I stop with Jason's mum? Only if his mum phones up and says it's all right. Uh, fish cake. There you go. She's giving me a load, look. You must think I was born yesterday. Mom. You don't, you grand. I won't hear another word about it. So, I am. No, don't squint your eyes up. Just look down. I'll come here to dinner with you and Mum tonight. No. Come on, Dad. You needn't think I'm going to spend eight quid on your dinner, mate. I won't eat much. Look, why can't you just go to your grand's and shut up? No, hang on a minute. I don't like it at grand's. She says nasty things about you. Girl, careful, fine. He's always said nasty things about me. He's never bothered you before. If you let me stop here, I'd stay in my room all night and I wouldn't even come out to go to the lab. Yeah, well, it ain't nothing to do with me, I suspect. No. Oh, the trouble with this gold is it collects in all the wrinkles. It doesn't matter, just put lots on. Okay. Please, babe. I gave you a present. What, a bar of chocolate? I'm surprised you haven't asked for it back yet. Oh, my God, I don't believe this. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> do you like it? Oh, I could dust be long enough. You can't come to the party in that, you just can't. Oh, you take no notice of him, Tracy. You'd look better than a snappy dresser when I see one. <laughs> you could uh, pull it down at the bottom a bit, then. You are a horrible little tart. You look like one as well. You're just going to ruin everything for me. Get out of the She's got no time. <clears throat> Do you want me to see your eyes off, then, Sarah? Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, love. Now be sensible, girls. If any of those gate crashes turn up, you just call the police. Yeah, all right then, Mum. Come on, the party's starting. Jackie's Trunk. That's what my dad says. Well, don't do the buttons up. Just leave it open. Great. Come on, Have oh. we got everything? Have you got your checkbook, friend? Yeah, you come on, the are Right, now, um, enjoy yourself. Yeah. And 11.30, don't forget. Yeah. Right. Yeah, have a nice meal. Yeah, have a nice meal. Have a nice meal. See you all See you all See you there's no wine allowed at this party. I did ask Beverly to explain to all her friends. You're too young, you know that, don't you? Yeah, so uh, we'll take it with us, eh? Might give you back later. <laughs>
easy on that martini texture of the on your leg out. Yeah, I go to our school. His name's James. He's a bit fancy, you? No. Not really. Right. See you later then. This is the worst party I have ever been to in my whole flipping life.